Your worth is tied to how much you can do. At least that is the unspoken expectation in today's world. From the moment we wake up until we finally collapse into bed, there's a constant pressure to do more, achieve more, and be more. However, this pursuit of productivity often comes at a cost, leaving many of us feeling overwhelmed, guilty, and ashamed when we struggle to keep up. When it happens, people may be quick to label us as lazy, when in reality, we might be struggling with something deep and emotional. In this video, we're going to explore the common struggles that are often unfairly labeled as laziness and hopefully guide you towards self-compassion. Struggling to get out of bed. What are your mornings like? When your alarm rings, do you find yourself hitting this news button repeatedly instead of bouncing out of bed? We all sometimes find it hard to get up in the morning. Maybe it's just too early or we stayed up way too long the night before. But if you're not doing so well emotionally, it's not just about being too tired. Simply getting out of bed can feel overwhelming, like too much of a task. This struggle to rise and shine might be interpreted by others as laziness, but in reality, it could be a sign of underlying mental health issues or burnout, signaling that you may need extra care, support, and rest. So try to be gentle with yourself and prioritize self-care rituals that help you start your day on a positive note. Not being busy all the time. You know that feeling when you've just finished a task that's been weighing you down for so long and suddenly there's nothing to do? You're exhausted and want to take a break, but you can't shake the feeling that you should be doing more. You might also worry that your lack of a busy schedule would be perceived as laziness. But contrary to popular belief, your worth isn't defined by your level of busyness. Not being busy can be a deliberate choice to prioritize self-care and to avoid burnout. It's okay to embrace moments of stillness and to recharge your batteries without feeling guilty. Procrastination. Are you always mindlessly scrolling through memes or organizing your desk for the umpteenth time instead of finishing that task you need to do? Delaying tasks or avoiding them altogether often leads others to believe you're simply lazy or unmotivated. However, beneath the surface, procrastination may stem from a fear of failure, perfectionism, or feeling overwhelmed by the magnitude of the task at hand. It's important to recognize that procrastination doesn't make you lazy. Try to see it as a sign that you may need to break tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, or even a sign to address some tough underlying emotions. Not enjoying exercise. Exercise is often portrayed as a one size fits all solution for health and happiness. Feeling depressed? Just start running. And if you don't really like the idea, others might be quick to call you lazy. While working out can help with mental health issues, not everyone enjoys traditional forms of exercise and that's okay. If the mere thought of sweating through your clothes in a crowded gym fills you with dread, try finding other physical activities that bring you joy, whether it's dancing, cleaning, or gardening. The point is to move your body in a way that actually feels good. Isolation and withdrawal. Imagine you're getting ready to go out and suddenly you get a text from your friend apologizing and postponing. Are you happy about it? Now you can stay in bed binge watching Netflix all evening. Sometimes when you're anxious or sad, you may isolate yourself from the crowd. You might cancel plans, not show up for classes, or avoid hanging out altogether. This is much more than just laziness. Solitude can be a powerful coping mechanism for managing stress. When you feel like this, take some time off, but make sure not to overdo it. After you recharge, reach out to supportive friends or loved ones, and remember that meaningful connections are more valuable than constant socializing. Do you struggle with these behaviors? Does it make you feel lazy? Feel free to comment and share your experiences. If you'd like to learn how depression and ADHD can be seen as laziness, check out these two videos. We hope we managed to make you see that your behavior, even if not the most productive, is still deserving of love and respect. 
you're allowed to live life at your own pace while taking care of yourself. You're not lazy, you're human. Thanks for watching and take care.